All right, guys, it's been a while since I did an update on this one. I did well a few days ago, but I've done a few more changes, got a few more options that I'm putting in. You know, I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> Still learning, I went down to the aquaponics store today, learned a few things, but I think, <laughs> I think I know about as much as he does, but anyway. So, uh, it wasn't aquaponics, hydroponics, and I think he does more for the, um, underground trade than upper the above ground trade anyway uh so i'm gonna show you what i've got here we go hold on right now i've just basically been putting these up temporarily we got an hoa here and they're really picky on what i do so i got to be careful what goes up but i've got my uh uh cucumbers right here they're going up right there uh looking pretty good i got some stuff going at it a little bit i've got some some stuff that i can put on there now i'm going to go ahead and try to take care of that see what happens uh looking good on our squash this is the uh the lettuce right now reddishes uh kohlrabi a uh, pretty sad strawberry that I've got wild strawberries or strawberries that just left over from years here so just threw it in to see what happened the lettuce is really coming up it's starting to come around over here you can see the lettuce again I've got some radishes and some uh, kohlrabi in here just mixed around got some pineapples over there just for the fun of it uh, trimming it back a little bit a uh, little lettuce seed starters in there realize i can do it a different way than that but i uh, didn't know that because see look at all of this stuff that's going up so looking pretty good uh just threw this up here because man it, the sun just really takes a toll on everything around here now this is my new project that i put together i know you guys are gonna go wow how do you spend all that money well i already had every single one of those uh fittings so these are going to be dutch dutch buckets i'm doing mine a little different because i'm going to just go ahead and send the water in and then i can adjust it volume wise for each one going down uh they can move and i can turn again adjust them turn them off and on i haven't got the grommets yet to put in and uh, i haven't drilled the holes i just barely put this up today uh it goes in drains all the way down comes into my big mess that I have. That board's just temporarily. I need to put an actual door there because I don't want my four-year-old to fall in. But anyway, you can see my absolute mess under there uh, of everything draining in. That big uh, two-inch right there is the new one I added. It's going to drain in from the uh, Dutch bucket-ish whatever I'm doing. But you can see everything's running pretty good. Uh, I've got the two closest ones are my tanks right here and then I've got two that are right there you can see here and here these are draining from that one so basically uh, we're doing okay with everything I've got like I said I'm not I don't care what it looks like underneath I'm not a perfectionist I never have been I never will be that's just not me. I like things to be chaotic. I'm dyslexic and ADHD, so I am very, very chaotic in everything that I do. It's part of the way I play video games. I'm chaotic, so hey, that's what I am. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna get some more of this netting. I'm gonna drop it down the sides right here and bring it down over here. I'm actually gonna bring it from right up here all the way across and then I'm going to pull, put a post, go straight up right here and over so I have a little walkway that I can go through. And uh, I'm going to seal this place off from the birds because the birds are coming in, the squirrels are coming in, everything's coming in and having a heyday. I've already caught a couple of rats. That won't stop rats. Got my rat trap in there. Uh, as you can see, they've gone to town right here and eaten some stuff. Uh, so they've they've had a they've had a good time. These are my tomatoes that basically um, 
suckers from these. These have taken off. I've had quite a few go. I'm just, I just throw stuff in for the fun of it to see what happens. I'm learning. So I'm experimenting with different things, trying to figure out what's going on. Here's all these strawberries that I mean, I got a million of these stupid things. I don't know what to do with them. Stupid grapevines that I've got. Uh, blackberry bush. This is what I'm putting in. I'm not using um, perlite. I'm going to go ahead and just use uh, clay pebbles because for me to get perlite here, it's the same price as getting the pebbles, and the pebbles last longer. And from what I understand and have been doing and looking and researching, they're supposed to be about the same. So if they're going to be the same cost, I'd rather have something that's, you know, gonna last a little longer and I can use it for other stuff in case that stuff doesn't work <laughs> here's my stuff's got to go to the dump that's actually a good bike it works it's just kids never rode it so it's going to the dump uh, and that's seized up because of all the fertilizing I did the lawn that's garbage actually a good lawnmower that works it's gonna go to the dump and let me show you what else I did uh, Cardinal. I'll shoot other birds, but I will not shoot a cardinal. That's just one bird I won't shoot. Uh, went ahead and hooked up. You can see there, I think I may have showed you that in the last video. Brought both of these together, put them in, and uh, got them hooked up. Oh, and I'm also going to tap in right here. I'm going to come in. This is my main line of feeds. I'm going to tap in here. And then I'm going to replace that pump that's down under there with a Polaris type pump, you know, for a pool pump. I've already looked around, got some pricing. I can get a really nice pool pump uh, so I can get a little bit more flow everywhere. I am going to eventually put uh, some horizontal 255 gallon drums up here that are going to be the reserve that's going to drop down and go into there. I'm thinking of maybe just using the pump that's over there and having them on the ground too and just pump everything out and just have the pump running as a cycle so that they'll be fresh and just cycling around, you know, like going around and, you know, and just cycling on themselves. I'm thinking about doing that also, but I've got to get rid of this John Deere lawnmower, which actually runs. It's going to the dump. I'm just taking everything, throwing it in the dump. This thing here, you have to disable all the safety features in order to start it. And then you have to hook the safety features back up once you start it and get it to go. So it's got an electrical problem. And my yard, as you can see, is not about to handle a riding lawnmower. In fact, I'm going to be surprised if I can get it out of here. Uh, I will because that gate open there opens up to a gate, but anyway. Well, that's it. Uh, here's all the PVC I'm working on. I like to work on the trampoline and just height. don't have to bend over and do anything, so everything I do is off the trampoline. Um, but that's it. Uh, and my plants are doing good. Uh, staying pretty green. Got some tomatoes right here. I uh, got some on this one. I'm not going to dig around and show them just because I don't want to waste time. If anybody's got any ideas how to prune these stupid things, I could use some help. I'm new at tomatoes. My wife hates tomatoes. I'm not that big a fan of tomatoes. I love hot sauce, though. So we will be making a lot of hot sauce. Uh, and uh, I need to get some. That's why the Dutch buckets are going in, so I can throw some more tomatoes. Uh, we're going to put some... Uh, squash on this side that side down there we're gonna probably end up running another line over by the fence with some melons I'm gonna try some Dutch bucket melons and then uh, also down there we're gonna put uh, some more cucumbers and then in these middle ones like I said tomatoes and I'm gonna put some um, jalapenos just because I'm a, a huge fan of jalapenos so I can just pick them right off and eat them I don't care how hot they are I'll eat them uh, the better the burn, the better the flavor. Anyway, oh, and I, I, I may have showed you in the other video, but I did add a second line. I wasn't draining good enough. I went ahead and threw some more, a couple more air stones in. Uh, this was, this morning, was just absolutely covered with uh, the algae that's going around and these cups stagnant water. Well, they're not stagnant now. Threw two more air lines in. 
So there is a lot of air circulating and flowing. I probably haven't showed you my air pump, and I'm gonna show you that real quick. It just leads out here. It's just temporary. This isn't real. It's just a temporary one right here. There is my air pump right there. And I have no idea what it is. I don't even know where to look. But it I had that from when I used to raise betta fish. Uh, I had a lot of bettas and I had over a thousand and uh, I had a problem with my water supply and they were just dying off and I just said forget it I'm gonna let them all die off so I just let them I threw them in an aquarium and they all died off and I was fine after that uh, a lot of work changing water every day every other day you know for a thousand fish by hand took me hours so it just was not worth the time and effort and the only I only entered a few fish in the show and the only reason why I got into bed is, is I've never actually won a trophy in my life. I've every single time we've won an event or some, you know, I'm a sporting event or something I've done, you know, basketball, softball, baseball, is the year they decided to go with rosettes. So I have never actually won a trophy. So I got into the fish to get a trophy. And lo and behold, my wife raised one. That's the one she entered, and it wins, and mine didn't. Story of the way my life goes when it comes to trophies. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm not destined to have a trophy. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you'd like it, we'll put a like up there. Like I said, I'm new to this, but I'm going to start posting a little bit more. Um, I need to learn to do a little bit better at filming and all that stuff. Like I said, I'm new and I'm just trying to learn and we can all learn together. So, uh, Yeah, make a like, and uh, hopefully I can get some more videos up there. I look, look at myself, sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to looking at a camera. I'm not a showman. So, anyway, so, uh, again, add me to like, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.